Okay, so let's have to play the solo of Enter Sandman, you know, and uh, you're gonna need a setting with wah distortion. And it starts off 15th fret B string. Just hit it once, and then three 12th, um, 12th frets B strings. I'm just gonna teach you it without wah first. Then you're going to do a bend on the 14th fret of the G, uh, G string. Then uh, in between each 14th fret you're going to hit two 12th fret B strings. Do it three times about. And then use all three fingers to bend the 15th fret of the B string. Twice. Then you're gonna do 12th fret G string, slide up to the 14th fret, hit it again. So basically, you hit it three times. And then slide back down to the 12th fret, and do it again. Then here, 14th fret G string, pull off to the 12th. 14th fret D string. Then 14th fret D string. To the 12th fret. 14th fret A string. And then 14th fret A string. To the 12th. Fifteenth fret E string. Twelfth fret E string. And then here, you're gonna do a bend on the 15th fret of the B string with your uh, first finger on the 12th fret of the E string and keep it there. And hit three 12th frets in between each bend. Do it a couple times, I'm not sure how many. And then just tremolo pick this. Basically, you're just going to be pulling off from the 15th fret to the 12th twice. Three times, you mean. And then you're going to go to the 14th fret. Not at all hard to figure out. And then immediately, you're going to go up the scale here. Just pull off 17th fret of the E string to the 14th to the 14th fret of the B string, twice, and then once more but don't hit the 14th fret of the B string. Then 19th fret of the E string, pull off to the 15th, 17th fret of the B string, do it again, and then pull off 19th, 15th, without hitting the 17th of the B string, 21st fret to the 17th. The, to the 17th fret of the B string twice and only do that twice and then you can do a bend on the 22nd fret but or the 23rd if you have one but you just want it to sound like the 24th fret and just slide so that part there sounds like this with walk And then, you know, go here. So, you use these two fingers, your middle finger and your ring finger. Middle finger, 9th fret, G string. Ring finger, 9th fret, B string. Slight bend. Add some wah. Four times. And then 7th fret, G string. 9th fret, D string. 7th fret, and then with your pinky go to the 10th fret of the B string. And that is just going down the pentatonic scale. 
So 10th fret, pull off 8th fret, pull off 7th on the B string. 9th fret, G string. 7th fret, B string. Trill to the 8th fret. That means hammer on pull off. Ninth fret, G string. Seventh fret. And then trill from seventh fret, G string to the ninth fret. And then pull off ninth fret to the seventh fret on the D string. Ninth fret, A string. Trill, seventh fret on. D string. And then ninth fret A string. Eighth fret. Seventh fret. Then tenth fret E string. Seventh fret E string. And just slide. Uh, that's played pretty fast. I can't do it that well, but to add wah to it. And then goes to a series of bends here. 16th fret, G string. And uh, you can add a pinch harmonic here. I'm not very good at it, but. It sounds kind of cool. Anyway, you bend it. Then 6th. 14th fret, G string, 16th fret, D string, 14th fret, G string, and then do it again. Four times. And then switch this, do a bend on the 16th fret of G string using these two fingers, your first finger and your middle finger. Just bend and go to the 17th fret of the B string. I think about four times. And then you're just going to end on that 17th fret. Let it ring. And if you have a whammy bar, um, kind of depress on it a little. You know, shake it. And then you do these pull offs here 21st fret, 17th fret, 17th fret, B string. So, it's going to be two pull-offs here, and then one pull-off, 21st fret to the 17th, only once, without going to the 17th fret of the B string. And then you go to the 24th fret, and just tremolo pick it a bunch of times, and slide. And then, you're going to go here, 10th fret, B string, pull-off to the 8th fret, pull to 7th, to the 9th fret, G string, and then hit it again, pull off to the 7th, 9th fret, D string, and then 9th fret, pull off 7th fret, slide to the 5th fret, and then bend on the 7th fret, and then 5th fret, D string, 7th fret, A string. 5th fret, hammer on to the 7th fret, to the 4th fret, open A string, 2nd fret, and that's the end of the solo. I'll just play that last little bit. Oh, no, right here.